Good morning. Namaste. <laughs> Sit in a comfortable meditative position. Hands in Namaskar Mudra. <clears throat> Close your eyes. Take a couple deep breaths. We'll start the class with three long omkaras and starting prayer. Inhale. Sahana Vavatu Sahana Bunatu Sahaviriam Karavahai Tejasvi Navadhi Tamastuma Vidvishavahai Om Shanti 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 Take your hands back, hold your right wrist with the left palm. Inhale, while exhaling, bend forward, surrender into the great divine. Come back up with eyes closed. Rub your palms together, generate warmth. Cup your palms and your eyes. Gently massage your eyelids. And your cheeks and back of the neck. Now open your eyes with a few blinks. We'll start with the wrist warm up. Place your palms in the front. While exhaling, make your fist. While inhaling, open your fingers wide spread. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Last two. Last one. Now transition to the wrist circles. Make your fist and make your wrist circle. Reverse the direction. Let's transition to the wrist bends while exhaling. Bend your wrist down, inhaling up. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Last two. Last one. I just move to the moving prayer. <clears throat> Hands in Namaskar Mudra. While inhaling, bring your elbows together and up with the arms parallel to the floor. Exhale, back to the Namaskar Mudra. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Synchronize your breath. Let's do a few more. Last two. Inhale. 
Last one. Let's do the last one, not sitting one. Huh? <clears throat> Place your hands sideways, palms up. Bend your hands at the elbows with the fingers on your shoulder. Now bring your elbows down and all the way up and back. You're inhaling at the back portion of the rotation, exhaling at the front portion of the rotation. Synchronize your breath. Try to get your full range of motion possible. Elbows pointing up to the ceiling. Now reverse the direction. Good asana for frozen shoulders. Warms up the shoulders nicely. Last two. Last one. I take a couple breaths. Let's move on to the cat and cow. So now your wrists are wound up, shoulders are wound up. Now let's set up for the cat and cow. Spread fingers wide, equal weight on the whole palm. Now wrists and shoulders one line vertically. My wrists and knees and feet one line horizontally. Now while inhaling, press your belly button towards the floor, expand your chest and look up. While exhaling, round your spine, chin to the chest, belly button towards the spine. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Make sure your wrists and shoulders one line vertical. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale. inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. The last two. Last one. All right, now come to the standing position. Let's do a few uh, standing warm ups. Place your Palms in front of the chest with the fingers into the lock. We'll do hand stretch breathing. While inhaling, press your palms outward while exhaling back to the chest. Inhale, exhale. Keep your elbows straight. Exhale. Stretch, stretch. Or inhale to 135 degrees. Exhale. Keep your elbows straight. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now inhale, stretch all the way vertical. Elbow straight, biceps touching the ears. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, stretch, stretch, stretch. Keep looking in the front. Last two. Last one, make your best. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Exhale. Let's take a couple of breaths. Next, we'll do the backward and forward bending uh, warm up. <clears throat> While inhaling, push your hips forward, back bend. While exhaling, bend forward. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. You can use the momentum. Let's do 10 of these. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, 
six, five, four, three, two, last one. And down. Let's take a couple of breaths. Next, we'll do the side brain warm up. <clears throat> now, place your foot at about hip width. Now, while inhaling, come all the way up, raise your hands. Now, palms facing the ceiling. <clears throat> now, biceps touching the ears. Now, your elbow go straight. Now, keep looking in the front. Stretch in the center. While exhaling, push your hips to the left and bend to the right. Inhale, come to the center. Now push your hips to the right. Exhale to the left. Now let's do 10 of these. Ten. Nine. Keep your elbows straight. Synchronize your breath. Eight, keep looking in the front. Seven. Six. It's not important how deep you come. It's important to keep your elbows, hands straight. And then keep looking in the front, the bending sideways. Three. Last two. Last one. And let's take a couple of breaks. <laughs> We'll do the last uh, warm up. <clears throat> we'll do the spinal twist warm up. Place your foot again at the hip width. <clears throat> While inhaling, raise your hand sideways, palms down. While exhaling, twist to the right. You're twisting only the upper portion of the body. Now, exhale to the left. Let's do 15 of these. 15. You can speed it up if you can. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Speed up. 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, last one. Let's take a couple of breaths. <clears throat> We're ready for the sun salutation, Surya Namaskara. So we'll come to the top of the mat, toes and heels together, hands in Namaskara Mudra. Round one, inhale, push your hips forward, back bend. While exhaling, bend forward, pala hastasana, chest to the thighs. That's the most important thing. Now place your palms next to the feet if available. Now bring your right leg back. The most important thing, front leg perpendicular. Now look up, if available, place your palms next to the front foot. Both legs back, exhale to plank pose. The most important thing here is wrists and shoulders. One line vertically, hold your core tight, neck neutral. Now inhale and exhale to Astanga Namaskara. Your chin, chest, palms, knees, and toes. Eight limbs of the body on the floor. Now transition to the Bhujangasana. Your toes, heels, knees, all together like a one tail of a cobra. 
Inhale. Exhale the Parakasana. And bend the knees as much as you need. The most important thing here is to get your spine straight. Now, one spine straight, then put your heels onto the ground and then try to straighten your leg. Inhale to Aswasana Chalanasana, right leg forward. Look up, front leg perpendicular. Exhale to Padanasana. Inhale back. Hands in Namaskar Mudra, round two. One, inhale. Two, exhale. Bring your left leg back, front leg perpendicular, inhale. Four, exhale to plank pose. Inhale and exhale. Astanga Namaskara. Inhale to Bhujangasana. Exhale to Parvatasana. Now bring your left leg forward, front leg perpendicular. Inhale. Exhale to Padasasana. Chest to the thighs. Inhale back then. And Sinamaskar Mudra, round three. One, inhale. Two, exhale. Bring your right leg back. Front leg perpendicular, look up. Exhale to plank pose. Your modification is you can get your knees onto the mat. Inhale and exhale, Astanga Namaskara. Inhale to Bhujangasana. Exhale to Parapatsana. Bring your right leg forward. Inhale, look up. Exhale to Palahastasana. Inhale back. Round four. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your left leg back. Both legs back, front post. Inhale and exhale. Astana Namaskara. Inhale to Bhujangasana. Don't forget to get your toes, heels, knees together. Buttocks tight, glutes tight. Exhale to Parvatasana. Bring your left leg forward. Exhale to Parvatasana. Inhale back there. And so now it's going to right on five. Inhale, exhale, bring your right leg back, exhale to plank pose, inhale and exhale, Astanga Namaskara, inhale to Bhujangasana, exhale to Parvatasana, Bring your right leg forward, front leg perpendicular, inhale. Exhale to Padahastasana, chest to the thighs. Inhale back there. And so now Skaram arm six. One, two. Bring your left leg back. Find pose, exhale. Inhale and exhale, a standard namaskara. Inhale to Bhujangasana. Exhale to Parvatasana. Bring your left leg forward, front leg perpendicular. Inhale. Exhale to Parvatasana. Inhale, back there. After then, hands in Namaskar Mudra, round seven. One, fingers together. Two, chest to the thighs. Right leg back, top of the back foot firmly onto the mat. 
Planck goes. From Planck, you can have a variation of Chaturanga and Dandasana if you like. Okay, inhale the Bhujangasana. Exhale the Parvatasana. When you right leg like, forward. Padahastasana. Backward. And so now it's kind of there are eight. Inhale. Exhale. Left leg back. Both legs back, front pose. Inhale and exhale. And stack in Muskara. Inhale to Bhujandasana. Exhale to Parvatasana. Bring your left leg forward. Inhale, look up. Exhale, Padhasthasana. Inhale, back down. Exhale, Namaskar, Mudra, round nine. One. Two. Right leg back. Both legs back. Chaturanga Dandasana, Bhujangasana, exhale to mountain pose, bring your right leg forward, Parahastasana, back bend. And so now it's coming around 10. Inhale, exhale, left leg back, front pose for the core tight. Inhale and exhale, a stand in and square. Inhale to Bhujangasana. Exhale to Parvatamsana. Bring your left leg forward, inhale, look up. Exhale to Padastasana. Inhale back then. And so now it's going to the last two rounds. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your right leg back. Both legs back. Chaturanga Dandasana with elbows touching the ribs. Inhale to Cobra. Exhale to Parvatasana. Bring your right leg forward. Look up. Exhale to Parvatasana. Inhale back. Last round, we'll hold the Utasana for a few breaths. Pay attention to the form. While inhaling, push your hips forward, back bend, all fingers together. The most important thing here is your buttocks tight, glutes tight. You're pushing your hips forward. And now you're following your eyes to the back wall. Take little sips of air, inhale, while exhaling, push your hips forward a little more. Look back a little more. Do it a couple of times. And stay there for a few breaths. Parahastasana. The most important thing here is to get your chest onto the thighs firmly first. And then if available, place your palms next to the foot. And then if you're there, shift your weight onto your toes a little bit. That enables you to 
straighten your legs a little bit at a time. But don't compromise on the chest to the thighs. Stay there for a few minutes. Keep breathing. Couple more breaths. Bring your left leg back. The most important thing here is your front leg perpendicular and vertical straight line. Now place your palms next to the front foot. Now take a moment here, push your hips down and forward and look up. Push your hips down and forward, look up some more. Keep breathing, synchronize your breath. You should feel a nice stretch in your pelvic region, groin area. Look up. Transition to the plank pose. You could start with the knees onto the mat. And the most important thing here is, again, your wrists and shoulders, one line vertically. Once you're there, if you're still available for you, lift your knees off the floor. And then if you want a little more, keep taking your toes a little more back. Stay there for a few breaths. Hold your core tight, neck neutral. Now transition to a stand in Namaskara. Push your, put your uh, knees down and then lunge forward with the elbows touching the ribs, chin on the mat, a stand in Namaskara. Take a couple of breaths. Transition to the Bhujangasana. The most important thing, your toes, heels, knees, all together. Buttocks tight, glutes tight. Stretch your legs like a single tail of a cobra. Now inhale and then come up. Don't compromise on your toes and heels together. Keep breathing. Transition to Parvatasana. Bend your knees as much as you need. The important thing here is to get your back straight, head down as much as possible. Now, after that, if available, Place your heels onto the mat and then straighten your legs slowly. Look at your belly button for leverage and stay there for a few breaths. Parvatasana. Couple more breaths. Now bring your left leg forward. Front leg perpendicular. Now place your palms next to the front foot. Look up. Push your hips down and forward. Push your hips down and forward. Top of the back foot firmly onto the mat. Hasvasan Chalanasana. Transition to Pada Hastasana. Now you can experiment with your palms a little bit. You can place behind the shins or you can place your heels on top of the palms. That will give you a little bit of leverage to um, shift your weight onto the toes. Chest to the thighs. One day, the forehead will come below the knees, touching the foot. Stay there for a few breaths. A back bend. Push your hips forward, fingers together. Follow your eyes to the back wall. Stay there for a couple breaths. 
and say Namaskar Mudra. Take a couple of breaths. You take a couple of sips of water if you like. We'll move to the standing asanas. Like last week, we'll do the <clears throat> Ardhakati Chakrasana and then uh, Tree Pose Rakshasana. Now prepare for the pose. Toes and heels together. Toes pointing forward and then <clears throat> lengthen your spine. Push your hips, push your whole top portion of the body up. And then slowly, <clears throat> you'll do on the right side. While inhaling, raise your right hand slowly at the shoulder level, palms facing down, and then flip up. And then inhale, stretch, 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 stretch slowly. And now hand straight, elbow straight, biceps touching the ear. Now you're looking in the front. Inhale while exhaling, slowly bend, slide your left palm. Keep sliding your left palm and then automatically you'll bend towards the left. Keep looking in the front. Again, elbow straight, biceps touching the ears. And keep sliding the left palm slowly down. Keep looking in the front. Stay there for a few breaths. Reverse the posture, inhale, stretch in the center. Now slowly bring your hand up. At the shoulder level, arm facing down. Make sure you're involving whole body, um, <clears throat> everything stretched. Let's do another side. While inhaling, Raise your left hand, stretch, 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 stretch at the shoulder level, palm facing towards the ceiling. Now inhale again. Now stretch, 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 stretch. You're pressing your big toe down and lifting up, elbows touching the biceps, touching the ear, elbow straight. And now slowly slide your right palm. Keep looking in the front. You're not doing anything to the top hand. You're just sliding your, the bottom hand up. You'll bend to the right because there's no other place for body to go. Keep looking in the front. You should feel a nice stretch on the left side of the body. Keep breathing. Stay there for a couple of breaths. Reverse the posture, stretch in the center, and slowly bring your left hand up. At the shoulder level, palm facing down, and then come all the way down. Let's take a couple of breaths. Next, we'll do the Prachasana tree pose. Bring toes together, heels together. We'll stand on the left leg first. The most important thing in this posture is just to stand on one leg. That's all. Rest is bonus. Now, you could place your right leg right here, even here, that's perfectly fine, as long as you're standing on one leg. And then you could place below the knee, just avoid the knee, or you could place your heel at the inner thigh of the left leg. Once you're there, now make sure that you're not bending on the leg. That's the most important thing. If you're bending, you could go back to the position where you're comfortable in keeping the leg straight. Our hands in Namaskara Mudra, or you could let your hands grow like a tree branches. Keep looking in the front. Left leg straight, keep breathing. Last 10 seconds. Close your eyes.
test your balance. Now reverse the posture, hands down, the leg down, shake your left leg a little bit, take a couple of breaths, <clears throat> let's do on the right side. Standing on the right leg, you should feel on your hamstrings, quadriceps, slowly lift your left leg and keep it wherever you feel comfortable. And then, <clears throat> Keep your hands position wherever you keep comfortable. I'm putting in Paschima Namaskar. This will also work on your chest, expand your chest, improve your cardiovascular function. Now keep looking in the front. Test again whether your right leg is straight or not. Press on your big toe firmly onto the mat. That will help you to balance better. Now last 10 seconds, close your eyes. Now reverse the posture. Shake your right leg. Come to that sitting position. We'll do a few sitting warm ups. Stretch your legs and do little ankle circles. Reverse the direction. My toes pointing towards the face. And the check each alana. Um, place your <clears throat> fingers together, palms together, fingers interlocked while exhaling forward and right. Inhale, back and left. Exhale, forward and right. Inhale, back and left. Synchronize your breath. Keep your hands at the shoulder level. Palms together. Firmly synchronize your breath. Now reverse the direction. Pull your core tight. Last two. Last one. Take a couple breaths. <laughs> Next, we'll do that. Chapati making, make sure your toes pointed towards your face. Now, keep looking in the front because you're able to see your uh, throat. Um, now, while exhaling, bend forward, keep looking in the front, exhale, inhale, come back up. Exhale, inhale, you should feel on your hamstrings. Keep your core tight, don't bend any farther than where your back starts rounding up. You don't want to round your back. You can take your fingers a little bit and go in the front. Synchronize your breath. Your exhale, bending forward and exhaling. And coming up when inhaling. A couple more times. Last time. Transition to the butterfly. <clears throat> Shoulders together, heels together. Uh, make your spine straight. Place your palms on your knees. Push them down gently. Once your hips warmed up, place your palms underneath the foot. And then expand your chest again. Keep looking in the front and come down. Keep looking in the front. Come down slowly. Hold your core tight. Again, the same principle. Don't drown your spine. 
come as much as you can without rounding your spine. So that means you're keeping your core tight. Keep looking in the front. Stay there for a few seconds. Now reverse the posture. We'll do a couple of uh, <clears throat> sitting asanas. We'll do Janu Sushasana, head to the knee pose. Um, stretch your right leg <clears throat> with the left heel at the inner thigh of the right leg, toes pointing towards your face. Uh, while inhaling, raise your hands sideways all the way up, palms facing forward, now elbow straight, biceps touching the ears. Now, bend forward. The most important thing here is to get your forehead to the knee. Um, if not available, bend your leg as much as possible. Point your forehead to the knee, and then slowly straighten your leg as much as you could go. Stay there for a few breaths. Now reverse the posture, bicep stretching the ear, all the way up, stretch in the middle, and then hands down. Let's do the other side. Stretching the left leg, right heel at the inner thigh of the left leg, toes pointing towards your face, hand sideways all the way up, palms facing forward, and the bend to the left. Again, important thing forehead to the knee. If it's not there, bend your leg as much as needed, and then slowly start pushing your knee down with the forehead. Keep breathing. Now reverse the posture. Hands up all the way. And stop. Now relax in Sutila Dandasana. Next, we'll do the camel pose or strasana. Come onto the top of the mat, standing on your knees, now placing your palms on your buttocks with fingers facing down. Uh, this could be your posture for today. If available, drop your head down, keep looking at the back wall. Again, this could be your posture for today. Now, if available further, Take your right palm, place on your right heel with the fingers inside, come outside. You do the same thing on the other side if you're available. Now, once you're there, keep pushing your hips forward. Keep pushing your hips forward. Stay there for a few breaths. Keep pushing your hips forward. One last time. Now reverse the posture with one palm at a time. Lie down on your stomach. It's okay to feel a little bit of dizziness after the time of pose. Relax in my karasana. We prepare for the bhujangasana. Toes together, heels together, knees together, buttocks tight, glutes tight, your legs, lower portion of the body. It's like a single tail of a cobra. Then stretch your hands in the front. Now take your hands back, palms together, fingers interlock. Lift your arms as much as you can, elbows straight. Now inhale and then come. Make sure your legs are together zipped. Inhale while exhaling, come up a little more. Inhale while exhaling, come up a little more. Stay there for a few breaths. Stay 
So we're going to put a couple more breaths. Uh, reverse the posture. Relax and mark it off. If you're not able to do the hands back, you could do the version of placing your palms onto the mat. Next, we'll do the inverted board pose. Stretch your hands in the front, legs in the back. Inhale. While exhaling, lift your hands off the floor and legs off the floor and look up. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Keep stretching. Keep breathing. Come up a little more. Stay there for a couple more breaths. Now oh, reverse the posture. So relax. Makarasana. Now lie down on your back. In Shavasana. Those are two supine postures. We'll do Matsyasana, fish pose, and we'll do the bridge pose. Place your palms next to the hips. While inhaling, Bring your head off the floor, chest off the floor. While exhaling, drop your head down. Now keep breathing. Take little sips of air. Inhale. Bring your chest up a little more. While exhaling. Stay there for a couple more breaths. Take little sips of air. While exhaling, bring the chest up a little more. You form a nice bridge underneath your back. Now reverse the posture. Lie down in Shavasana. Next we'll the bridge pose. Bend your legs at the knees. Bring your heels till your middle finger touches the back of the heel. Now inhale, while exhaling, bring your hips off the floor, buttocks off the floor. Hold your core tight, if available, palms together, fingers interlocked off the floor. Now hold your buttocks tight, glutes tight. Inhale, while exhaling, come up a little more. Inhale, while exhaling, come up a little more. You should feel in your glutes. The glutes are the muscles that should be working here. Stay there for a few breaths. Now reverse the posture. Relax in Shavasana. Now spread your legs, spread your hands. Let the whole body sink onto the mat. Close your eyes completely. Let the mind not wander. Total relaxation. We'll do the deep relaxation technique. Bring your awareness to your toes. Move them a little bit. Relax your toes. Relax your soles. Relax your heels. Relax your ankle joints. Relax your shins. Pull your kneecaps up. Relax your knees. Relax your hamstrings and quadriceps. Relax your pelvic region. 
Relax your hips. And relax your whole lower part of the body. And bring your attention to your stomach muscles. Relax your abdominal muscles. Relax your chest muscles. Relax your upper back, middle back, lower back. Bring your awareness to your fingers. Move your fingers one at a time. Relax your fingers. Relax your palms. Relax your wrist joints. Relax your forearms. Relax your elbows. Relax your biceps and triceps. Relax your shoulders. Turn your neck to the left and to the right. Relax your neck. Bring your awareness to your head region. Relax your chin. Relax your lips. Relax your tongue. Relax your teeth. Relax your nostrils. Relax your ears. Bring a big smile on your cheeks. Relax your eyeballs and eyelids. Relax your eyebrows. Remove the frown on your forehead. Relax. Relax your top of the head front of the head, back of the head. Now relax your whole body. Now when you're ready, turn to the left or right. And come and meet me in Vajrasana for Pranayama. Or in any comfortable meditative asana. The two arms of Kapalvati, each round will target for 25 repetitions. And then uh, 10 rounds of alternate nostril breathing, six rounds of Brahma. Place your palms on your knees. Active exhalation and passive inhalation. Start the first round of Kapalvati. Close your eyes and practice. Follow your lips a couple times to the second round. Next, we'll do alternate nasa breathing. Take your right hand, put it in nasa mudra. 
close your right nostril with the thumb. Breathe out and breathe in with the left. Now place your ring finger on your left nostril, breathe out and breathe in with the right. That's one round, let's do 10 rounds. Close your eyes and practice. Next, we'll do Brahmari. Place your thumbs on your tragus and push your tragus inward. And then fingers in Shanmukh Mudra. So let's start the first round. Inhale. Mm. Mm. Last round. We'll end our class with one long omkara and ending prayer. Close your eyes, hands and nose, karamudra. Inhale. Om. Sarve bhavantu sukhinaha Sarve santu niramaya Sarve Trani Paschantu Marcus Chittuk Havad Pavet Om Shanti 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 Take your hands back, hold your right wrist with the left palm. Inhale while exhaling, bend forward, surrendering to the great divine. Come back up with eyes closed. Rub your palms together. Generate warmth. And cup your palms and your eyes. Gently massage your eyelids and your cheeks and the back of the neck. Now open your eyes with your blessings. Namaste. Thank you.